फ्रेंड्स इन एट्थ लेक्चर वी हैव रीस्ट अप टू द पार्ट फाइव अपटिल इन फोर पार्ट्स वी हैव सीन डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ एंजाइम्स बट इन दिस पार्ट फाइव वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एंजाइम इनिबिशन दिस कंसेप्ट इज वेरी एप्लीकेबल इन मेडिकल साइंसेस स्पेशली इन ड्रग डिजाइनिंग रिसर्च पर्पजेस इनिबिटर्स विच आर नोन to decrease the enzymatic activity so what is enzymatic activity please recall our part 3 of 8th lecture where we have defined the good enzyme definition where kcat by km ratio should be high where we have mentioned that kcat value should be high and km value should be low so the ratio will be maximum to define the good enzyme but inhibitors affect on the enzymatic activity by affecting on kcat value which is also known as turnover number they decreases the kcat value and they increases the km value so this inhibitors also affect on good enzyme by altering their vmax value of the reaction your all doubts will be clear after watching complete video so let's begin our discussion already we have seen that enzyme in association with substrate will result into the formation of enzyme substrate complex and this enzyme substrate complex give rise to the enzyme and product in separate separate form some inhibitors interferes with this step where they do not allow the substrate to interact with that enzyme so they interfere in the step of enzyme substrate complex formation what it means it means that substrate concentration requirement increases to form the enzyme substrate complex which means the km value increases which is the bad thing for any enzyme it was the first case in second case where some inhibitor act upon the enzyme substrate complex they let enzyme substrate complex to form but they do not allow to form product formation step which is we known as kcat value so kcat value again get decreases which is again a bad thing for any enzyme so where we have seen km value get increases and kcat value get decreases in day to day life we know some uh, inhibitors in medical field antibiotics are well known which affects on bacterial metabolism by inhibiting the enzymes in a bacteria by same process also we all are familiar with many insecticides and metal poisons who acts as a inhibitor on enzymes so to study enzyme inhibition we have two different types of enzyme inhibition the first one is reversible enzyme inhibition and second one is irreversible enzyme inhibition so it is always better to discuss in comparative manner in order to remember about concepts in reversible inhibition inhibitors can bind and dissociate from enzyme in irreversible inhibition inhibitor can bind and can dissociate from enzyme but in reversible inhibition inhibitor generally binds in non covalent fashion to an enzyme but in irreversible inhibition inhibitors bind to an enzyme in covalent fashion in reversible inhibition inhibitors when get removed from the solution that enzyme regain their activity and can function normally as it was doing before in other word we can say that the temporary enzyme inactivation has been done in reversible inhibition where enzyme inactivates in presence of inhibitors only but after removing of inhibitors enzyme works normally but in case of irreversible inhibition where inhibitors renders the enzyme in their presence but when we remove the inhibitors from the solution we will see that enzymes still not able to function normally so in other word we can say that permanent enzyme rendering or permanent enzyme damaged can take place in irreversible inhibition in reversible inhibition we will have three different subtypes under this criteria first one is competitive inhibition second one is non competitive inhibition and third one is uncompetitive inhibition which are the main focus of our discussion in today's lecture 
so let's discuss them in separate separate fashion first let's discuss about competitive inhibition where the inhibitors create competition with substrate in order to occupy the active site of enzyme so we know that enzyme is functional where the active site is the area where substrate binds to the enzyme after binding of substrate the next reaction process will take place but inhibitor occupies the active site position because of this the substrate is not able to sit in the enzyme so here we can write in this fashion enzyme in association with inhibitor forms enzyme inhibitor complex and this complex is of no use when enzyme in association with substrate forms enzyme substrate complex then only this complex will give rise to the product but here we are looking at inhibitors creates competition with substrate that's why we requires more substrate to compete with that inhibitor we can represent the above discussion in michaelis menten plot where the normal plot in absence of inhibitor will look like this the curve line which is hyperbolic indicates the course of reaction where we have vmax and the km value what this km indicates the km represents the substrate concentration where the half velocity or half speed of the reaction has been achieved but when we plot michaelis menten plot in presence of inhibitor we will find the curve line will somewhat shifted which represents the change in km value but one thing is noticeable that vmax in both cases absence of inhibitor and presence of inhibitor is same but km value has been changed so we have explanation for this why km value has been changed and why vmax is remain constant so increasing substrate concentration means the km value has been increased which is not a good thing for enzyme whatever we have said before that km value should be low which represents the good enzyme capabilities but here due to inhibitors km value has been increased because substrate concentration has been needed to increase to compete with inhibitors so we have got an answer about why km value has been increased but the question is why vmax remain constant because we know vmax is equal to k2 total enzyme concentration this equation we have seen in third part please go and check that lecture where total enzyme concentration is equal to the pre enzyme plus enzyme in association with substrate complex concentration plus enzyme in association with inhibitors complex association so the sum total of all these represent the total enzyme concentration but the processes are reversible where enzyme and inhibitor complex can dissociate into pre enzyme and pre inhibitor because it is reversible once that enzyme will be free and by increasing the substrate concentration we can get enzyme in association with that substrate and the reaction can be done but for that we have to increase the substrate concentration which means we have to increase the km of that reaction so not immediately but slowly that reaction will achieve the vmax in both cases when absence of inhibitor and in presence of inhibitor by combining both graph we can represent here in michaelis menten plot about changed in km value so in competitive inhibition where we have got km value increased and vmax value unchanged in term of line weaver berg plot we can represent here on y axis 1 by v on x axis 1 by substrate concentration and we can draw the slope in absence of inhibitor i am saying the slope represent the km by vmax value where the point of interception on y axis represent the 1 by vmax and point of interception on x axis represent minus 1 by km value which is already we have discussed in our previous part 
this plot represent inversion of michaelis menten plot means when we say velocity is maximum which indicates 1 by velocity is minimum when we say subset concentration is more represents 1 by subset concentration is less so it is an inversion format please remember this so the inhibitor presence representation can be done in this fashion where new line has been drawn where it indicates the vmax is the same but the km value is changed we have said km has been increased so we need to represent that 1 by km value is decreased so it is not just a 1 by km it is actually minus 1 by km so we have to represent minus 1 by km value has been increased so to increasing fashion representation need to be done near to the zero in case of minus values so we can show the changes in km value but constant vmax value by increasing the inhibitor concentration the plot will shift according to the change in km value but the vmax value remain constant so our discussion is based on reversible inhibition where we have discussed just about competitive inhibition where the inhibitors and substrate do competition to bind with an enzyme because inhibitor and substrates are analog of each other i hope you must have enjoyed this video but it will be clear whether you have understood or not by your question in comment section so please do ask me question regarding this topic in next lecture we will discuss about remaining two parts which are non competitive and uncompetitive type of inhibition their differences and individual features in detail as well as we will discuss about feedback inhibition thank you we will meet in our next part so take care see you soon